you can find an overview of all my videos at www.genesispc.com and you click on the button videos on YouTube and you get a complete listing of all the videos I created for you. Conditional formatting in Excel can be done with formulas that gives you much more power than regular conditional formatting. You, uh, you go to the conditional formatting option, home, conditional formatting. And then in later versions you get also these options, but you can at any moment use a new rule. Or once you have that done already, you can manage your rules. And then go to the option, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Put your formula here and then set the format when that condition kicks in. If you want to know more about it, I would recommend the CD-ROM that I developed. It has three modules. Each one has more than 500 slides and it discusses all the issues you could ever dream of in Excel, including conditional formatting. I'm going to give a few simple examples. Here is a conditional formatting issue that hides all the numbers where the old systolic blood pressure was higher than the new systolic blood pressure. And then I created a VBA code to toggle that on or off. I gave it a shortcut, Control shift h so it can go on or off whenever you need it. If you just want to see what are the problematic cases or whatever situation you want, then you hide those issues. How was it done without VBA? As I said already, you go to conditional formatting, in this case manage the rules. There is only one rule, and I'm going to edit that rule, use a formula, and the formula says equals D2 less than C2. But what is important, that you realize that you always talk to the first cells, the first rows in your range. And then you have to realize that the D and the C column indicators have to be locked with a string sign. Uh, 2 can change into 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then you choose a format. In my case, I chose a format that says I want the font to be white. I cancel all of that and close it. I did something similar. On the next sheet, I want to highlight all the situations where the systolic blood pressure went up by more than 10. This number you can change anytime and it will automatically adjust situations. If I change that into 15, it will highlight only a few cases. Okay. Again, I made it a macro, so Control Shift U is the shortcut, so you can Highlight it at any time you want. How, how was it done? Again, the same story as before. I highlight that range that I want to use for conditional formatting. Manage the rules. Here is the rule. If the difference between D2 and C2, in between parentheses, lock the D and the C, is greater than F2, but F and 2 are both locked with the string sign. Then we want this format. Cancelling that. Now the question is, how do you do that in Visual Basic? It, it works fine. Control Shift U. Even if you change that number to 15, it will still work fine. How did we do it? You go to Visual Basic and you put in there a new module. I called the first sub hide values and the second sub up for mark. I declared a variable of the range type and a variable of the format condition type. I do this only for sheet 1, and that has those variables. If the active sheet name is not sheet1.name, then exit the sub. Otherwise you are doing something on a range that does not have that condition yet. Set the range to C2 for D19, and, and lock 
all those indicators. If that range, O range, the format conditions count is not zero, then we delete all the format conditions, else we are going to set O format. We set it to a new format condition of the collection of format conditions in O range, and that new condition is of an expression type, formula type, and here is the formula inside double quotes, equals D2 less than C2, make sure you lock it properly. And then O format, give it a font color, VB white or something like VB red, VB green, or you can also use dot interior color and then use the RGB notation, red, green and blue, which is a function. And that function has three arguments, up to 255 for red, for green or for blue. We did something similar for the second sub. Again, O range as a range type, O format as a format condition. We apply that only to C2. So if the name of the active sheet is not C2's name, exit the sub, set the range again. You realize you have to adjust that when you add more records. If O range format condition is not zero, then delete all the format conditions. Otherwise, add one. And we will add one that is of the formula type again. In this case, equals the difference between D2 and C2 greater than F2. In this case, I use O format interior color and the RGB function. Once you have done all of that, everything will work fine. Control Shift U. Control Shift U. If you want to know more about Visual Basic, and you need to know more if you want to feel comfortable with it. I would highly recommend this CD-ROM that has made thousands of other users, professional VBA users. It has three modules again. It discusses all these options, how to set properties, formulas, etc. You can find it at genesispc.com.